Hi everyone, this video is about fetal movement monitoring. Fetal movements felt by pregnant women are a sign that the fetus is growing in size and strength. The pregnant woman is usually the first to feel these movements. Decreased fetal movement can be a warning sign of potential fetal impairment or risk. And therefore, raising awareness of the importance of fetal movements and advising women on the appropriate action to take if they experience reduced fetal movement is important for minimizing or avoiding adverse perinatal outcomes. Fetal Movement Definition Fetal movement refers to motion of the fetus caused by its own muscle activity. The First Fetal Movement the first fetal movements which are felt by the mother are called quickening. Primipara women feel fetal movement little later after 20 to 22 weeks of pregnancy. Multipara women will feel fetal movement yearly as 16 to 20 weeks because multipara uterine muscle may be more relaxed from prior pregnancies and more sensitivity to movement. However, usually women feel fetal movement from 18 to 24 weeks. Important of fetal movement. One important and function of the fetal movement is to alert the pregnant woman that fetus growing in her uterus well. Types of fetal movement. Respiratory movement, simple movement like kick or limb movement, rolling movement due to changing position, hiccup like movement, other activities like sucking the thumb or blinking. Fetal movement feel like Quickening feel different for everyone. Some of the terms used to describe quickening are fluttering like a butterfly, tapping or tiny pulses, bubbles popping, tiny muscle spasm, light rolls or tumbles, flickering, swishing, tiny kick. Other movements mimics yearly fetal movements are flatters, peristalsis, abdominal muscle contractions. Sleeping and active time of fetus. Fetal movement follow a circadian pattern and absent during fetal sleep. Periods usually last 20 to 40 minutes and rarely exceed 90 minutes. Fetuses spend most of their time in sleeping and they don't move when they are asleep. The afternoon and evening periods are periods of peak activity. Fetuses are most active from 9 am to 2 pm and again from 7 pm to 4 am. They may be more active while you sleep and sleep while you are awake. Reason for increased fetal movement When the mother settles down for the sleep, after having a snack and food, when the mother is nervous, when the fetus has the hiccups, in the second trimester, maternal exercise, maternal hypoglycemia. Reasons for decreased fetal movement. When the mother is active and busy, the placenta present at front of uterus, a fetus back lying at front of uterus, after had sex, there is less room in womb while the fetus is sleeping. By the time mother is in third trimester, the fetus head is engaged in mother pelvis maternal smoking, alcohol, overweight and obesity, sedatives and drugs, big baby, supine position, fetal compromise, fetal growth restriction, placental abnormality, low amniotic fluid, too much amniotic fluid and fetal distress. Outcomes associated with decreased fetal movements, fetal growth restriction, small for gestational age, Placental insufficiency, oligohydromnios, threatened preterm labor, fetal maternal transfusion, intrauterine infections, congenital malformation, preterm birth, perinatal brain injury, disturbed neurodevelopment, low birth weight, low APCAR score, hypoglycemia, cesarean section, induction of labor, fetal death, and neonatal death. Fetal movement counts. Fetal movement counts, otherwise called as fetal kick count. Fetal movement counting is a method by which a woman quantifies the movement she feels to assess the condition of her baby. Purpose of fetal movement count or kick count. 
The purpose is to try to reduce perinatal mortality by alerting caregivers when the baby might be compromised. Merits of fetal movement count. Fetal movement count monitoring is a low cost and low technical method, so all mother can practice easily. Fetal movement count can improve maternal child bonding during pregnancy as the mother starts to get to know her unborn child. The merits of fetal movement monitoring. On the other hand, fetal movement counting may cause unnecessary anxiety to pregnant women or elicit unnecessary intervention and hospital visit. When to start fetal movement counting? In case of uncomplicated pregnancies, the fetal movement count is done at 34 weeks, that is from 8 months. In case of high risk pregnancies, the fetal movement count is done at 28 weeks, that is from 7 months. Fetal movement should be count daily until the completion of delivery. Methods of fetal movement count Any of the two methods can be applied. First method is Cordiff count and formula. The patient counts fetal movement starting at 9 am. The counting comes to an end as soon as 10 movements are perceived. She is instructed to report the physician if less than 10 movements occur during 12 hours on two successive days or no movement is perceived even after 12 hours in a single day. Another method is daily fetal movement count. Three counts each of one hour duration in morning, noon and evening are recommended. The total counts multiplied by four gives daily fetal movement count. If there is diminution of the number of kicks to less than 10 in 12 hours, it indicates fetal compromise. How often to do kick count? Set aside some quiet time twice a day to do kick counts. Schedule one for the morning when the kicks and punches tend to be less frequent and one in the evening hours when there is usually an increase in baby's movement. What is kick chart? A kick chart is a graph or grid printed on a piece of paper with spaces to record the daily movements of your baby usually after about 28 weeks of the pregnancy. How to do fetal kick count? Here are the steps to count your baby's kicks. Choose a time when mothers are least distracted or when mother typically feel her baby move. Sit comfortable. Lie on your left side or sit with your feet propped up. Place your hands on your belly. Start a timer or watch the clock. Count each of your baby kicks, movements of any kind like kicks, flutters, whistles or rolls. Keep counting until you get to 10 kicks. Once you reach 10 kicks, jot down how many minutes it took. Look for 10 movements of any kind in an hour or less is normal. If you have not felt 10 movements within an hour, have a snack or some fruit juice, lie down and continue counting. Most healthy babies should take less than 2 hours for 10 kicks. How to wake fetus to count kicks? It might be easier to count kicks once determined baby's active time of the day. Even then, there will be times when baby doesn't want to cooperate. Some things can try to get fetus to move or taking a walk or moving your body, drinking juice or another sweet beverage, eating a meal, lying down on your left side. This maximizes blood flow, playing loud music. When to worry about fetal movement? In the majority of cases, changes and even decreased fetal movement are part for the pregnancy course. If mother have not felt any movement from her baby by 24 weeks, see the doctor or midwife. Mother is feeling decreased fetal movement, that is less than 10 fetal movement in 12 hours, see the doctor or midwife. Mother is not feeling any movement in 2 hours, it can signal a major significant issue, call the practitioner. Next management with less fetal movement. If the mother presented with no fetal movement felt for last 2 hours or decreased fetal movement felt for last 12 hours, first need to do history collection. 
This should include time since onset of decreased fetal movement, previous episodes of decreased fetal movement, known IUGR, placental insufficiency or congenital malformation, maternal factors such as the presence of hypertension, diabetes, smoking, extremes of age, primiparity, obesity, previous obstetric adverse events. Next physical examination, it includes checking vitals, checking temperature, pulse rate, respiratory rate, BP, saturation, or BS will give basic data about the patient. Next abdominal palpation, measurement of symbasis fundal height and palpation of abdomen which should be recorded in the pregnancy health record and compared to previous measurements. Next need to check fetal heart rate with sonic aid. Auscultation of fetal heart rate with a Doppler fetal monitor to determine viability. FHR is good in volume, regular in rhythm and rate is 110 to 160 beat per minute can reassure the mother and advise strict fetal movement monitoring. If it is not reassuring, can refer for CTG. CTG CTG is cardiotocography. It helps to monitor fetal heart rate and uterine contraction. CTG should be performed for at least 20 minutes. Normal CTG trace futures. Baseline fetal heart rate is between 110 to 160 beat per minute. Variability of fetal heart rate between 5 to 25 beats per minute. Deceleration or absent. Acceleration to within 20 minutes. If CTG is normal, reassure the mother with findings and advise strict fetal movement monitoring. If CTG is not reassuring, doctor will advise to do ultrasound. Ultrasound Ultrasound help to monitor fetal heartbeat, fetal movement, fetal tone and to determine the amniotic fluid volume. If ultrasound finding is normal, reassure the mother with the findings and advise for strict fetal movement monitoring. If ultrasound findings are not normal or fetus is in distress, will plan for early delivery of fetus either by induction of labor or by LSES. If IUFD confirmed, that is managed as per hospital policy. I hope you got some idea about fetal movement monitoring. Thank you.